Hi, this is Prachi. I am lactation consultant from Prachi Lactation. In the last video, we discussed about breastfeeding post breast abscess. In this video, we shall be discussing about use of nipple shield for breastfeeding. Before jumping into the video, you can subscribe to us and ring the notification bell for the latest videos. Nipple shield is a shield used over the nipple to facilitate breastfeeding. This is important especially in the earlier stages of breastfeeding when breastfeeding latch is difficult. Nipple shields have evolved over a period of time and now we have silicon based nipple shields which are flexible and easy to use. Let's see uses of nipple shield or conditions in which nipple shields are used. The most common use of nipple shield is when the mothers have inverted nipples. When the mothers are having inverted nipples, they can still breastfeed the baby, but it is difficult to get the nipple out for baby to suck on it. On these times, nipple shield can be of great help to direct the baby to exert the force required for sucking just enough to draw the milk from the breast. They are also used in premature babies as sucking reflex is still not developed and because of that, it is difficult for baby to suck effectively from the breast. With the use of nipple shield, this sucking can be made more effective. The nipple shield is used whenever the mother has sore nipples as because of soreness of nipples, it is difficult for mother to breastfeed the baby directly. In this situations, when you apply nipple shield there, the pain experienced by the mother is much lesser. Sometimes to address normal variations like mother having big breast and the baby having small mouth or mother having small breast and baby having big mouth, nipple shield can be of good use. Now let's see some important points to remember while making use of nipple shields for breastfeeding. The nipple shield should be of correct size for the breast as if the nipple shield is too small, the nipple will get pinched and if it's too big, the milk will not be appropriately drawn from the breast. The right size of the nipple shield can be determined by first counting the diameter of the nipple and then adding plus 2 mm to it. Whatever, for example, if diameter of your nipple is say 24 mm, then the nipple shield that can be good for you is 26 mm, that is 24 plus 2 mm. So, you should always try to find your size and then buy a nipple shield which can be helpful. It is important to wash and disinfect nipple shields after each use. For application of nipple shield, pull the edges of the nipple shield and slightly evert the nipple and place it exactly on the nipple and then slowly release it. It is important to see whether the nipple shield is correct for your breast and that you can determine by looking at the nipple shield which is placed on the nipple. If the nipple tip is touching the nipple shield too closely, then it means that the nipple is small and it's going to be difficult for the milk transfer to happen appropriately. If some amount of areola is also entering the crown of the nipple shield, then that means that the nipple shield is too loose and then milk transfer is again going to be inappropriate with that. It is important to think about 
a plan for weaning a nipple shield as prolonged use of nipple shield is not beneficial for increasing the breast milk supply. Now let's see some tips to wean the nipple shield. Skin to skin can play a major role in improving breastfeeding latch and a bonding between mother and the baby which is very essential when we are thinking of weaning the shield. Skin to skin session should be for 20 to 30 minutes. It can help in improving the bond between the mother and the baby and also towards the end you can try to latch the baby directly onto the breast. It might not be successful breastfeeding session but it is definitely good to initiate the direct breastfeeding. It is important to feed the baby following baby led breastfeeding by looking out for cues of hunger. For more information on baby led breastfeeding and baby feeding cues, I am attaching a link to the separate videos done on baby led breastfeeding and baby feeding cues. Whenever the baby is using nipple shield, towards the end of the feeding session, you can remove the nipple and let the baby do some non nutritive sucking on the breast. This can help in improving the breastfeeding latch. I want to burst one myth today about nipple shields. It is not advisable to cut the nipple shield around its edges as the baby is weaning from the nipple shield as this can be very harmful for both the mother and the baby because it can hurt baby's mouth as well as it can cause cuts on mother's nipples. This is not to be done. So this was all about use of nipple shield during breastfeeding. In the next video, we shall be discussing about breastfeeding at 6 months. For more details, visit our website www.patchulagitation.com and don't forget to like, share this video.